Okay, last one for the day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your golden way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. You are the way. Jesus is the only way. Doesn't matter what they say to me. I believe in you. <laughs> if only YouTube did not copyright songs <laughs> i was going to be putting that song every time i do my intro but you know he is the way the truth and the lie you are the way the truth and the lie i'm just too excited today <laughs> like today has just been a very beautiful day um this is the third recording <laughs> for today and i i feel like i'm struggling to concentrate um i have everything written down like the the revelation came in the morning but then i record them at night because like the light just looks better and i like the shadow thingy why am i telling you this i don't know but anyway let me stop recording uh, <laughs> i mean you want the way the truth and the light just da, 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 da. i forgot the lyrics you know you know i said i pray that i ever i don't get you forget you and i live in my best yes with the best that's I'm a tech, that's the matter of the tech, cause I got my JT, now I'm living, living free, now I'm living, living, you are the way, the truth, the life, you are, you are the way, <laughs> anyway, the joy of the Lord is my strength, honestly, <laughs> cause like, I'm sure this is so late, cause I could have done this earlier, but I decided to sleep when I came back from everything else today, oh, let me go back and focus, Ugh, life is beautiful with the Lord, Life is nice with Jesus, honestly. Um, so day seven. How incredible is this? We are halfway through the devotional. This is so exciting. I am, wow. I am, my, my mind's blown. Like already the way I think about love has changed. And I'm so excited to see what God is going to do for the remaining seven days. Seven, I think isn't seven level perfection or something? I don't know. But anyway, so today we're gonna talk about how love is not self-seeking. This is like my favorite. I have been waiting for this one like ever since I started the devotionals. I was like, Lord, I need to talk about how love love is not selfish, love is not self-seeking, love does not think about oneself. And if you haven't noticed, the past three three devotionals have all have been about how love is not selfish. Like overall um and we have been alluding to this for a few days and finally here we are and this puts emphasis on how we should la how love should not be about us like the world has told us it should be like i keep emphasizing the world and by the world i mean like social construct i've been one i i i mean what the world has painted um you see this whole self-love thing guys it gets very tricky because it gets toxic at some point like toxic self-love or like toxic positivity that's the right word and you get so self-centered that you do not care about other people mm -mm. Ubuntu guys Ubuntu I'm losing focus but the aspect of seeking to please self has led to the misuse and heartbreak of so many people and I say this with the most genuineness of all because we have all hurt people that we love because we were seeking our own pleasure. I need to repeat that. We have all hurt people that we love because we were seeking our own pleasure. We were so focused on getting what we wanted from them that we cared little about what they had to give. And Philippians 3, I mean Philippians 2, verse 3 to 4 has something to say about that and it says here in verse 2 then no i must be reading verse 3 sorry do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit rather in humility value others above yourself not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of the others and what i really love about the lord is that he's always calling us to leave <laughs> very 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 um opposite life to what to what the world is doing the world is all about this toxic positivity and the lord is like ah give your life to oneself you must serve others <laughs> it's like 
okay but how do we do that and that's why we have holy spirit our helper i love holy spirit because i cannot do half the things i do i cannot be half the person i am without holy spirit and i i usually joke about this but if i do not get in my quiet time in the morning the person you're gonna meet during the day is not me that is my flesh and that's not me i refuse to identify it <laughs> It's not funny you know um, but yeah and in 1st Corinthians 10 verse 24 uh, it speaks about how as believers we are called to live a consecrated life from the world that means a set apart life that means that we do not conform to the patterns of this world the Romans 12 verse 1 to 2 and you know but we are being transformed by the renewing of, your, of our minds which is what you are doing with this devotional you know being renewed every now and again so we should seek the good for of, of others and not ourselves we must always seek to make life better for the next person and i think that's what pushed me to health that's what like for me this definition of love um as much as i i grew selfish because of the hardships of the world but the ever since i came to god he's been like Yo, one thing about God, guys, do you know that my allowance, my allowance is not mine. Um, the money that I make, most of it does not go to me. Like, genuinely, like most of it does not go to me, does not go to making me happy. It goes so much in the people I'm serving and the people he has called me for. And I love it with everything in me because it keeps me in a position where I'm continuously pouring out to another person and my prayer all the time is the Lord is 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 God please please I am only going to pour out of overflow I say this all the time like I'm only going to pour out of overflow because come on Jesus we're not gonna do this I cannot be broke and then you expect me to be pouring out no 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 if you're gonna give me money you know it must overflow I must be able to you know overflow <laughs> um, and I think that's the beautiful part about always seeking for others is that you are always going to be taken care of and think about it if all of us were to love each other like the like like the love of first Corinthians um, yo, I forgot the core scripture hectic first Corinthians 13 4 to 8 is it 13 yes Lynn it is 13 12 years not talk about this okay Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> I told you that I'm too happy. It's distracting me. Um, but if we all had that love, because I saw like a video that was speaking about how like that First Corinthians 13 kind of love is like the perfect love of God. And, you know, um, and I'm like, yes, of course, that's, that's, that's God's character of love. That's incredible. The interesting part is obviously god has perfect love as we humans we have like shortcomings but the interesting part is that like we have that we we, we have access to that kind of love like we have we have the ability it's in us the moment oh this is my favorite thing that pastor melissa says like like she, she 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 said it when she preached on sunday she said it to her discipleship it was just so amazing and she said that um when you like this revelation is just gonna blow your mind the moment you walk to the altar, not your wedding altar, focus, focus. We're talking about, actually, it's still your wedding altar, but like, like you're Christian. Okay, now I'm making it look different. Ebana, when you walk to the altar to get saved, when you walk to your savior, when you come to the Lord, you know, as his bride, you're like, hmm. you don't look, oh, you, you don't always look so free, but you were there and you know, that yeah you just like i receive jesus as my lord and savior like you are you are you are in the moment everything is happening for you right there right there, there and then um the lord was just like in that time and then she says that um the moment you say yes to god you have access to every single thing that he has ever spoken about in scripture and this access thing is something that my mentor has been talking to me about for the past two years and the first thing was, we cannot be asking God for financial provision where he's already given us. Like, we ask that, we, we, we ask for that, like, 
we, 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 we place a demand. We don't necessarily ask. We place a demand. It's like God, the scriptures already say that you've placed me abundantly and I'm supposed to live a life of abundance. And you, you are the Prince of Peace. You've given me peace. I declare that over my life. Like you ask for for that you don't necessarily ask for it to come because it, it's already there the same way with your purpose you don't ask for God God please give me purpose you ask for God to reveal the purpose because it's already in you and yo it blew my mind and like when these people talk spoke about how like perfect love is such a an unhealthy standard to have no it's not it is an incredibly healthy standard to have because then I lost my train of thought because you already have it in you you already have the ability to love and what I usually love about like love is that I love babies babies are amazing they are the perfect description of love and they possess this sort of innocence and this untaintedness this consecrated this holiness that is very difficult to cling to as as you grow up and I can attest to that. I was a happy child. Um, I did not live in the most beautiful situations, but I was certainly a happy, a happy child. And because of that, hi, ball. <laughs> and yeah, sorry, like they're singing happy birthday, so I'm distracted. But as I was saying, right, like as as a child, there's this innocence. There is this um, like. You know, you are you are pure basically because you haven't been tainted by the world. And then the moment you step out into the world, oh my goodness. The moment you step out into the world, I feel like the moment you come out of the womb, Jay, even though for the first five years your parents are gonna do their best to keep you within. Hey, Usatane is gonna fight, he's gonna start now speaking into your life, he's gonna start releasing things like you you you're gonna start building truths that you were never told you came into this into this world knowing who you are all of a sudden you don't and yeah that's something that generally is a big concern and that's why i love children because they 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 show us that they that god really put everything in us because it a child really loves everyone like you go to a class even the classes where like these kids have racist parents from home um, and they come to class and they, 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 they like especially in the earlier grades when they're still younger it doesn't click that I'm supposed to treat these people differently but the moment like their parents start like pulling them away like no you do not talk to that child that child is black and yeah, black people are this 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 or like whatever but like I'm just using race as an example really it's not like I'm saying people are all racist everywhere but I'm using race as an example and you see how this child struggles to comprehend why I cannot love another human <laughs> you know and I feel like that's the kind of love that the Lord wants us to have to stay childlike to stay a baby to stay you know to just to stay pure and it's hard to stay pure that's why Holy Spirit is there because he must come and he must wash us in the blood of Jesus we must come every day be like Lord <laughs> deliver me from evil <laughs> every day but anyway I'm too excited that's why I'm talking so much but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I am going to have a really hard time editing these very long videos to make them for TikTok and YouTube on a daily basis but this is day six uh, day seven and that means I have seven more clips to make and I just hope that they are blessing you as much as I am enjoying making them thank you for watching and thank you for listening on Spotify on Google podcast on Apple podcast what else I think that's all oh, oh on YouTube podcast this is actually a YouTube podcast I forgot about that I can do that now I did that for this specific love is series but anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow like a slap tomorrow's gonna be a Monday I think is it um, yeah tomorrow should be a Monday if this is not Monday when you're listening to this but yeah, and my ring keeps falling off because I don't want to put it too deep. I struggle to take it out. <laughs> See ya. Lots of love in my heart. Oh, I'm struggling. Lots of love in my heart.